So what you're looking at is totally normal. It's also my arm for my last tattoo session. So if you've ever wanted a really close up look at what a healing tattoo looks like, you've come to the right place. Hey everybody, welcome back to Academic. I am your host, The Professor, and on this episode, we're taking a slightly different angle on the whole healing tattoo video. In this case, really close up. So I just picked up some moment lenses for my phone. They're the lenses that kind of click into the phone case and give you more options for your camera. And one of the lenses I got was a 10 millimeter macro lens. It's that one right there. And what this allows you to do is take photos really, really close to something. And moment isn't sponsoring this or anything. I just really like their equipment. Anyway, I said to myself, self, now would be a really good time to take some really, really up close high def photos of a healing tattoo. Not just the regular, look, here's my tattoo healing kind of thing, but really up close so you can see exactly what's going on. So that's what I did. So the area I picked was about the size of a nickel. Uh, I picked on my bicep, which I was getting a lot of work done up here, but I just picked a spot that was kind of flat-ish so that I could take the photo like that. Not perfectly flat, because it's your arm, but whatever. And I thought it was also important that I got some of the older tattoo work in there, as well as the new stuff, but I really wanted to focus on a section of fill, as opposed to you know, just line work, uh, because I think that's the most interesting part when it comes to scabbing and healing and whatnot. So here's a before photo. Uh, this is a, a little reference photo that I did uh, to send to my artist beforehand so he knew exactly what he was getting into for that session. And I should point out here that this tattoo session uses a Tegaderm aftercare solution. So you'll see that shortly, just FYI. That doesn't mean there's not gonna be scabbing. There will be scabbing and that'll come just a little later on. A lot of the photos you see I took either right after waking up or right before or after a shower. And I'll explain that when the picture comes up because it's actually really important, the context of each photo. Just for transparency, the only soap that I was using for the entire period was Dial Gold, and the only lotion I was using was just Lubiderm. So, full disclosure. For my skin, that actually works really well. Your mileage may vary. Day one. At the session, I let my artist Ben know that I wanted to do this. He was okay with it. And a link to his Instagram in the description if you like the Alice in Wonderland sleeve. It's an original design by him. Just a little plug. <laughs> anyway, here's the spot that's about tattooed. Now, I wasn't really sure which spot I was going to choose at this point. So what you're looking at is the marker uh, that he used to draw and kind of mark out where he wanted to fill because this part was just kind of freehand, right? Just kind of freestyle. Um, he was just kind of filling in some gaps that we had left. And yeah, perfectly safe to have marker on you and then get tattooed. It's perfectly fine. So the part that I'm actually photographing is the bottom of that image. And you'll see the little spiky things showing up. All right, so here is actually a picture of uh, the spot that we're looking at. It is a little bit awkward because I couldn't use the little guard to take this because I didn't want to get that on the fresh tattoo because who knows what's on this. So I had to just kind of use the lens and get kind of close. So it's a little bit weird, uh, but this is during the process, right? This is actually during the tattoo. If you're curious about why I didn't want to put this little plastic thing right on my tattoo, uh, check the video that I did about COVID-19 and sanitation when it comes to tattooing. Oh, and just because I love all of you and I never want you to feel alone, here is the picture of the paper that's down on the table, the massage table that I was laying on. Uh, this is after I had had work done here for about two straight hours and then rolled over to get a different part of my arm worked on. So that is plasma and fluid and blood and sweat and ink. Uh, pretty, pretty gross, but this is to be expected and perfectly normal. And I should probably reiterate at this point that this session was barely painful at all. So when you see all this stuff, it, it didn't really hurt. It was uncomfortable because of the position that I was in. Very little pain. But again, that's me. Your mileage will vary. So anyway, after three straight hours of tattooing, uh, we stopped. Ben cleaned me up, wrapped me up with some Tegaderm. And the plan, which is always my plan, is to leave the Tegaderm on for an extended period of time, take it off, wash it, let it air dry, put more Tegaderm back on, leave that on for an extended period. And then at that point, you're pretty much done. It's pretty much healed. That was the plan. Day two, 
it was really nice outside, and I wanted to go for a run. So against my better judgment, I actually did that. Uh, put on long sleeves because I didn't want to put uh, sun lotion and sunscreen on a fresh tattoo. You should never do that. Plus, it was covered in tegaderm, so it wouldn't work anyway. Hmm. So I'll go for a run, get back, and throughout the process of you know running and moving around, uh, the tegaderm had loosened. Sweat and whatnot had gotten under it. Uh, the, some of the stuff had just kind of leaked out. My shirt was just covered in stains. Uh, so I decided to just take the tegaderm off early. This is about 20, maybe not quite 24 hours after the initial session. Uh, wash, dry, and then put the tegaderm back on. So what would have been 48 hours was now 24 hours. And then I was on to my second tegaderm regimen. And tegaderm, you can just buy it on Amazon or something. Like it's not something you have to purchase through uh, like a medical supply store or a tattoo supply store. It's just regular clear dressing. So here's something interesting. You see the kind of red outline towards the top of the tattoo? That's not infection. That's not anything to be worried about. That's just because my skin was angry. It was irritated, right? And that's what happens to irritated skin. It gets red. Extra blood flow, a little bit of inflammation. It's, again, perfectly normal. Annoying may hurt a little bit, but it's safe. That's not an infection. And I didn't take a picture of it right after I reapplied the dressing because it looked exactly the same way as it did before and there was really no point, so. So day three, the next day, while it's still wrapped in that tegaderm, I wanted to show you what it looks like with the tegaderm over it, okay? So this is, it looks really smooth, right? It looks kind of wet, that's because it is. <laughs> Underneath the tegaderm, it's very moist. So what you're seeing is just basically all that moisture uh, being held against the skin. And this is not a bad thing. This is not submersion. This is just keeping a moist environment. Now for me, this treatment works really well. My skin really enjoys this kind of treatment. For you, it may be totally different. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta try different things out. So anyway, that's it looked like that for all of day three. So moving on. Day four, the dressing comes off for good in this version of aftercare. Easy as can be, right? So you might think, oh, this looks kind of rough. And the tattoo in this image looks kind of rough. And you can actually see around the tattoo some of the places that weren't tattooed, right? The skin kind of uh, coming away at that point. You know, there's damage there. And that's, again, because tattoos are a lot of trauma in one single spot. So your skin doesn't like it. <laughs> so again, a little bit of soap, a little bit of lotion. This, what you see in this photo, is perfectly normal, at least for me. On to day five. Now begins the scabbing. Now I didn't wrap this at night and this is how it looks the next day without putting any lotion on it beforehand. This is like right when I got up. And you can see, pretty dry, right? But it's also starting to get that onion peel look to it. And that's something you hear about pretty frequently. Again, perfectly normal. This is normal. Skin around the tattoo looks a little bit red. Again, it's angry. And again, perfectly normal. <laughs> Are you sensing a theme here? Now here it is. Same thing, day five, but after lotion. And you can see it just soaks that stuff up. If your skin looked like this and you weren't just tattooed, there might be a problem, but this, you know, perfectly fine. This is what it should look like. And just for a side-by-side -side comparison on another section of my arm, this is the thing you saw on the thumbnail. Uh, on the left, the, the section of the tattoo before it's lotioned, and on the right, the section after it's lotioned. And you can see how important that lotion really is, that hydration, incredibly important. Okay, so later on in the same day, you can see, again, after it's had some lotion on it, it's starting to look kind of matte, to get this kind of matte look to it, right, kind of dull. And again, perfectly, perfectly normal. This is when the onion peel, uh, the onion peel scab really starts to kind of show itself. And again, this is why I wanted to do a section like that, because it shows how long this can actually take sometimes. Day six. The onion peel scabs have kind of started to separate and kind of... They have their own little spots that they hold onto in little places and they kind of shrink into those individual spots. I don't know how they do that. or I don't know why they choose what spots to hold onto and whatnot. It's just your body, who knows? Because the skin's crazy. Now you might think that when you see these, uh, these scabs coming away and they're black or gray or whatever color your tattoo is, you might think that this is actually them pulling ink out. It's not, it's perfectly fine. This is what's supposed to happen. What's not supposed to happen is picking at them. Don't do that. And again, this is really obvious on me because I, my skin is really pale and this is black ink. So the contrast is really high. Day seven, 
starting to look kind of gross, right? <laughs> this looks weird. Again, skin is weird. And here you can see the onion peel scabs mostly completely gone. There's just a few little spots that are still really hanging on. And you can also see a really stark difference between the spots where the scab is gone and the spots next to it that were tattooed a long time ago. Not a long time ago. <laughs> Earlier. Again, normal. So when you're washing your tattoo and you're cleaning it with just your hand, gently, or you're putting lotion on, gently, and some of that scab starts to come off and stick to your hand, or you see some of it in the shower, like, that's okay, that's perfectly fine. Just don't rip at it, don't scratch it. You don't want to be abrasive. That's the big thing. So again, if your tattoo looks like this, it's okay. It's normal. Day eight, first thing in the morning, this is what it looks like. Again, it's dry. It's been going all night without any kind of lotioning. But remember, sleeping with a tattoo is a good thing. The video I did on sleeping with a fresh tattoo, remember. You want to rest and sleep when you have a fresh tattoo. So waking up in the morning, it looks like this. It's fine. So you can see some of the bigger scabs are starting to come away. Perfectly normal. You can see some of the skin around the tattoo. It's kind of kind of kind of got a ring of uh, damaged skin around it again. Perfectly normal. Ten hours later, same day, you can kind of see how the skin's starting to kind of even out a bit. And this is with some lotion on it. And you know, again, it would look weird if you didn't know that you had been tattooed, but this is perfectly normal. Day nine, the healing is actually going really well at this point. It looks terribly dry. It is very dry. This is the very first thing in the morning. But again, after a little bit of lotion, looks just fine. This is a well-healing tattoo. Day 11, it's pretty much through the first really big stage of healing, past that initial tattooing phase. This is pretty much done. Just a little bit of dry skin left. It is dry, it does need to continue having lotion, but this is, for all intents and purposes, this is healed. At least, as far as my body goes. The visual difference between pre-lotion and post-lotion is nominal at best, so I didn't take any other pictures until day 19. That's right now. So I'm actually going to take a picture right now, and then that's what you're going to see here. All right, so there you go. That's the photo that I just took. Skin looks perfectly normal. It is absolutely healed. It's roughly three weeks after the initial session. And at this point, you know, your tattoo is still going to continue to heal for months. It's not completely, totally healed yet. So still lotion it, still take care of it. Always put on sunscreen. Try not to shave during that initial healing period. Razors are disgustingly dirty. Uh, I'm actually going to do a video on that at some point, so watch out for that. I mean, would I go swimming right now? No. Would I jump in a hot tub? Also no. I also probably wouldn't go into any location where there's a whole bunch of people because of the COVID-19 outbreak. But anyway, day-to-day -day wise, the tattoo is pretty much done. But speaking of COVID-19, if you have a session coming up, it would probably be worth your time to call your artist and see if they would like you to reschedule, but pay them now. Just, you know, it'd be a nice thing to do. Also, stay at home. <laughs> anyway, I hope this helps you feel better about your weird skin healing with a tattoo. Like, everybody's different. Skin is amazing and very strange. And yes, this was really, really weird, taking pictures and looking at my skin really, really close up. It's very strange, but I hope it helps. So whether that's because you have just gotten one and you want to know what's coming, or because you're going to get one and you want to know what you're getting into, or if you just want to compare, see how you heal compared to somebody else. I hope it's useful. Of course, if you experience anything like extreme pain, crazy swelling, pus, uh, or especially lines coming away from your tattoo that are not part of the tattoo, it's probably a blood infection, you know, seek medical attention. <laughs> you know, if it feels weird, something just doesn't feel right, talk to your artist, see what they suggest. Don't just listen to me. But if you did like this kind of content, please, the best thing you can do is hit that subscribe button and share it with a friend. Now, if you want to hit the like button, that's great too, I guess. And if there's something you would like to hear me cover on the channel, you know, just leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Until next time, stay safe.